Hello everyone and welcome to our new tutorial. In this tutorial of Grasshopper, I will teach you how to um, perform a generative plantings uh, using the aspect and a slope calculations of a DTM or terrain model. So before starting, it's important just to remind that um, um, we need to install some plugins. First plugin is the Docker Fossil plugin. I already explained how to do this in a previous um, tutorial in my um, YouTube channel. And we also may need we also need Bison, which is another of the plugins, and we also need a Groundhog. For the Groundhog, we just need to go to the website. Here is the website of Groundhog. It's the um, plugin for Grasshopper developed by Dr. Philip Belisky. So um, it has in this website a lot of documentation, projects, and techniques with examples. We just need to download this latest version. And once we got this latest version, we just go to the file, special folders, components folders. We have it here. Um, we go to libraries, and we just copy there the Groundhog uh, Grasshopper assembly. We need to restart everything, and it should be working properly. So the first step for this tutorial is we need to import the terrain from uh, DTM using an ASCII file or ASC file. So I showed this how to do this in a previous tutorial, so I don't going to spend time on this. So here is the custom preview. What happened is if we make this um, mesh, you will see that it's very high resolution mesh with a lot of grid so it will consume a lot of uh, uh, processing time we want to use it as it is so there are different options we can just simply use the reduce mesh tool in rhino or we can also remesh the tool um using um either launch box to remesh it here, remesh reduce, or we can use um, also Bison. So Bison is really quickly, we can use the remesh random. But we need to just do this mesh, and we need to define a grid, a grid of let's say 15. Okay, and it's calculated right now. So if we Turn off this visualization and we bake this. So you will see that the grid is much different and with triangular regular network um, is randomly generated. So we can use this one. We can, we don't need this pre visualization. Meanwhile, we can still keep this visualization. So with this edge, we are going to work. So now, the first step after doing that is we're going to use the Groundhog tool. Okay, Groundhog tool is called for this calculation is the mesh aspect. So we have here the mesh aspect, and we can connect our mesh there. And we can make this connection, this mesh invisible for now, and this connection hidden as well. Once we have done that, we just need to find because we use face, faces and faces face aspects. What we need to do is each of these faces, uh, we need to um, create a selection, a domain that will help us to include or exclude some of them depending on the aspect value. So for that, we need to use a call pattern. It will help us to create this. I'm going to change here. That this is easier. I'm going to create a cool pattern. And I need an includes component. The includes components, we use this value here. And I will connect this here. And then a list comes from there. Now I'm going to create a, I need to construct a domain. And the main should be constructed using specific values. Let's say between 250 degrees 
sorry, to 150 degrees, of course, um, assuming that the zero is the north and 250. Okay, we connect here the second. So if we remove this preview. So we were going to see here the faces right? we're using for the aspect calculation. Okay, once we have done this, we need to populate a geometry. Populate geometry. And we're going to use this list to populate the geometry with a lot of points. But as you will see, there are too many points. So we need to reduce these points or divide these points because we have too many in each of these. So we're going to turn off this. So what we're going to do is use area to estimate our area from this. And we got the, center, the centroid and we also got the areas. Then we're going to divide. We just simply use the division. Yeah, let me move this one here. We're going to use the division. So we're going to divide the number of points that we have there for, let's say, 50. Okay. And we are going to connect this in the number. So now we have a much less number of trees. If we increase the number, we need, it will be much slower, much uh, smaller, because we are divided by a larger number. Okay? If we reduce this division, we're going to have more trees, let's say, in simple, in simple way. So, okay, we, we keep it in 40 something or 50. Okay, 50 is a nice number. Okay, and now once we have done this, we don't need to have this on. And we can group all of this and call it populate tree from aspect. Okay. That's good. Once we have done that, we want to now generate the trees. So we can generate, a, we can use a rapid generator. So the rapid generator, what we're going to need is perhaps we can use from here, primitive, we can use a cone, okay, to represent. And we're going to use these points here to generate this cone. So this is the base of the cone. So it's very small cone. Okay. So what it is, what we need here is just to define a radius. We can define a radius of say three meters. Okay. And now where I want to is I want to have a random length for this cone. So we use random component. And that is for the length. And we're gonna construct a domain construct domain for this value random value and this can be between perhaps seven meters and fifteen meters. Okay this is the height the heights of the of the tree. Okay, so we move this one. Okay. Okay. So we have this, but it's still there in a random. Why? Because we need to define first a seat. Um, our seat can be seventy, perhaps. And most importantly, we need this number, um, which is a random number. We can get it from this value so what we need is to the list length connect there and we need to get this list length from here so now we have
You should have random dimensions. I don't know what's going on here. Okay. And this seat should be it. So now, as you can see, we have different heights of, of points. Then we can create a custom preview with this geometry and create here a color swag to give it a very nice green color. So if we turn on this visualization here, preview, so you can see here the trees generated. Okay. So this is one way of generating. This is a rapid generator. And we call rapid tree generator. Okay. This can be one method. But another method that I also show in a previews tutorial is just creating lines representing a trunk and mesh spheres representing the canopy. And we make random both of them. So how, how it works. For that, we're gonna do a line SDL, okay? And the line should be connected to the populated geometry. So we're gonna disconnect all, all of them, okay? We're going to need here um, direction, so it's a set unit. This is our direction. And we're going to need a random length. So we can copy this from here. Okay, and we need a random length there. So it's pretty similar, right? I just generated a line. And this random length is also comes from this direction. So we have here random heights for these trunks. Okay. Now the next step is just to generate the sphere. So for the sphere we're going to use a mesh sphere. Mesh sphere. For a mesh sphere we need to estimate first base plane. So we need to find the end point of this line. So we use endpoints. And we connect those. Sorry, this is the end point with this with the sphere. So we have a lot of spheres there. And so now we need to define the radius. For the radius we can of course, the radius should be also random based on this value because the larger it is, the trunk, the it's usually like that, the smaller and larger will be the canopy. So for that, where we can use is a division. Right, and we can divide using this value here by let's say um, 3.5 okay so we can control pretty well our canopy we divide it by a larger number it decreases the size of the canopy and then we need a umv which is a values that can be perhaps five which is U and V represent the number of segments that we're gonna have for those spheres. So the larger the number, the rounder it will be the sphere. And as the previous case, we can use the custom preview to visualize these beautiful spheres with color. And we can add also a custom preview for the for the line. So we can have also custom preview for the line, and the line can be perhaps a brownish color. So that's what we have. So this will be 
another type of generator. So we call it just simple tree generator. Okay, so we have there the trees based on aspect. Okay, now what we can do as well is use another of the components of Groundhog to estimate based on the slope. So for example, the logic is that when we have steep slopes, we want to plant trees. It can be an, a design strategy because that will help to control the speed of the water and reduce the runoff and the speed of the water runoff, the erosion. So as a design strategy of the landscape, I mean. So what we can do is just use measure slope. And in a similar way, we just can copy all this information set for the aspect and make a copy here. And we need to disconnect this and disconnect this one here. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab all these faces as a list and plug in there. And there are different values here for the slope. One, it is the angle. Another is the percentage, and the other are the face as a face slopes as a list. So I want to play with the angles because it's much easier. And again, we need to connect our mesh to this mesh. Okay. So let me hide this. You will see here their colors. It's showing that something is not working pretty well, and this is because, like the previous times, let me disconnect this. Disconnect them all. We have too many points, but the problem is that we haven't defined pretty well our domain. So, because these numbers are out of range. So, if we have angles, well, the logic is perhaps 30 degrees between 30 and 70 degrees. Correct. So, this should help, okay, to. This is something we don't need at this point, but we need the populate geometry. So here are the slopes between 30 and 70 degrees where we want to plant the trees. Okay. So now we can just simply copy, drag this let me ungroup this. We can generate a group, new group here. So now we can simply drag this information, this um, tool, tree generator, and we can group them, and we just can copy the information from here. So let me see. Let's see, and then here we can put countries from. The slope and we put angle. Okay, so that's the information we have. So now what we're going to do is just simply we can connect this to the length and we connect the points there to this line. So now we need to turn off this visualization. So, okay. Let me turn it off there. So now we have all the trees in those very steep slopes. And we can modify the angles as we want. And as a final exercise, it's very interesting if we show here the visualization of these slopes. So to do that, what we're going to do is just create here a mesh. Okay, and we're going to connect the mesh there. We can make this connection faint, and we can turn it off. So now what we need is to add here a gradient, a gradient, and customize this gradient with a different type preset. Here, okay, that's fine. We, we can reduce this. We don't need the length. And we also need to connect here the slope angles here. 
and we just make this connection hidden so or paint it and then what we're gonna use is uh, mesh colors mesh colors before doing that we need to do here uh, exercises grafting and we need to use the simplified as well once we have these mesh colors we connect this value here to the colors and we're going to connect the mesh to this one as well so that's what we got so what we can do now is we need to define the angle that we want or the slope that we want to show so let's put it 70 degrees which is what's our top is one there and let's turn off all these previews here so what you see here are those slopes with more than 70 maximum of 70 degrees okay so the darker area so they they should be they should correspond we save this so here is the analysis of the slope so makes sense now what we're gonna do is just to group this and put a name like um, slow analysis we can move it here so this is basically the tutorial for today as you can see you have learned how to do first um, how to populate trees based on aspect values and then how to populate trees based on the slope angles and then use two type of visualizations or generators for the tree canopy one using rapid way using just simply cones and random heights and the other is just using um, a bit more detailed set of uh, trees which include uh, the canopy and also the trunk so now that's all for today and um, so thank you very much for your attention